So here's the place where the next Templars Chapel is. So here it is, the Chapel of the Matroni. Uh, say here, Maridou. Mer for pyramid, Ri for the sun, Du. Okay. Well, there's pyramid, sun in it. Or pharaohs. So it's a dead end. Let's have a look then, eh? Oh, there it is. You know, every time I look around here, I'm stunned by the, uh, by the beauty of the country. I don't know what that is. Ah. Uh, you see? A pharaoh. Where did they go to? Ah. Uh, down there, that pharaoh everywhere, always controlling the valleys and all that. So I couldn't find the bloody church. No. Oh, what's that? Another pharaoh everywhere, you know, everywhere. Anyway, that, uh, that also looks like pharaoh, or oh, maybe that's my church. I don't understand it. There was a sign on the other side. Uh, well, so I'm here at uh, in February Pyrenees, but well, that's not the Pyrenees. They're on the other side. Can't see them now. It's all snow topped. Um, I'm stunned by the beauty of this country. You know, everywhere. You know, everywhere it looks like this. If you go north, uh, not so much in the west, maybe south, east. Beautiful, and um, yeah, it's, it's not worth it to go and look at the Eiffel Tower or go to the you know go to Nice. There's nothing there. It's horrible. People are all heaped up, all piled up there, you know, and they're not they're not really nice. You know, like the same, you know, the gilet jaune, the, the yellow jackets. You saw it, you know. We're having a nice time there. We're like having a picnic, a free wine, food, a pate, soup. Nice people, bloody hell, no, not even cops there. If you go into town, in a big town, well, you got, instead of a soup, you got a tear gas. Instead of um, a sandwich with pate, you got, you know, like LBD 40, you know, trying to shoot your eyes out like bloody horrors, you know. Like, in, you, and the rest of your life, you walk around with the all-seeing eye. And they do it on purpose. It's a very precise Swiss weapon. The Swiss, they, do, they think about everything, you know, they calculate everything. Uh, so if you go to the big town, it's like, uh, instead of having a nice wine, you know, uh, well, you fill it in yourself. <laughs> you know, they, they do some waterboarding with you. I take you down station to the waterboarding. Yeah, okay, that's it. Instead of a nice wine I got, you know, in big towns in Paris, they do your waterboarding. Like code O2T, oxygen deprivation. It attacks the head because there's 80% of the oxygen that goes to the head first, where the information is. They did the same with me for, one, for five and a half years. Doing a uh, dep uh, oxygen deprivation like a waterboarding in Switzerland. Just no oxygen, you know. That's the principle of waterboarding. I mean, uh, it's not for nothing, you know, I've got my uh, cocaine import agency channel, you know. So please step into our nearest office and we'll give you a free waterboarding session. Oh, nice, just before it was raining, now it's sunny coming out. Hello. You know, I'm noticed, I saw it yesterday again, you know, the, the French, I call them like little rabbits, you know. They always need a, a woman, you know, and like the, um, they are like afraid, like, oh, if I don't have a woman, maybe I won't survive the night or something, you know. Well, it's not the way, you know, it's, it's not the way we do it in South Africa, you know. Um, yeah, you know. Um, and I saw it yesterday at the, uh, the Yellow Jackets gathering, you know. Um... What they were really doing there, you know, like was uh, in French you call it the uh, drague, you write it drag. You know, they tried to drag the woman into whatever, who knows where, you know. 
and after that they're all flat out, you know, there's, there's no more air in it, they're all tired, you know. Oh, leave me alone, honey, I want to go to sleep, you know. Uh, no more revolution. <laughs> and nobody understood really anything, you know, about uh, the real death about, uh, of, uh, you know, what's really going on. Um, they don't understand it. They don't want to understand it. Uh, it's a, a, a few only. Most of them, they are just lonely. They want to be, you know, we're all together, drink some wine and, you know, and be like this afterwards, you know. Instead of like that, hey? Not like this, like, like this, hey? The rabbits, the wolf. Okay. Yeah. The whole thing is misery. <laughs> that too is misery, mate. <laughs> you know, if you want to do a real revolution, you know how to how to steer the uh, the energies. You know, you have to practice sexual sublimation, the sublimation of your sexual energies. You can't make a revolution. You know, like like this, it won't work, mate. French, eh? You rabbit. Like this, sexual sublimation. Get it? Right. I'll put a ring around your dick or something. Wow, that's what I call a worm, eh? Whoa, that's long, eh? Remind me of the film June. Wow, that's long. You can fish a bloody shark with that in Cape Town. Oh, a whitey, a white shark. Wow, that's a big one, eh? I suppose this is the head, because it's... That's where he's going to, yeah? Where are you? Wow, amazing, eh? Breakfast. Wow, that's big, eh? Compared to my... There's another snake there. He thinks there's another snake there, which he's going to. Yeah, look, he is white. Hey, look, he is all black here, in front, you yeah? know? Looks like the fellas of a negroid. <laughs> Well, not that they ever see one, you know, and I don't want to ever see one, but, you know. Um, okay, d I'm, you know, don't, don't pull the racist card on me, please, you know. I'm still your pal, Africans, you know, here white, here black, you know. Um, actually, it's a compliment, you know, it's a compliment. It's not racist, it's a compliment. You su I mean, the size, you know, the size, yeah, okay. We all know that, the size. <laughs> <laughs> That's a considerable size, eh? You see? It's a considerable size, yeah? You see? It's a compliment. Not like this one. It's, it's a little frenzy size here. Look at that. <laughs> Bloody rabbits. <laughs> well, you, you two are rabbits. You only think about that. Oh, look. Yeah, you only think about one thing, eh? That's why it's a mess in Africa, you know? Uh, sexual sublimation. Yeah, there's only one thing that keeps me warm. It's my dust bag, my sleeping bag. Okay, get it. I'm pretty sure that's it, eh? Old Templist Chapel. Looks old. I mean, you don't need a door like that for the cows, eh? It's not a house either. It must be that. So, I mean, there was a, a sign here. So, I, in the middle of the night, I went straight ahead. I went all the way up to the hill there, and I slept there. How do you think? How do you think of, I have to? I find it. You know? How can I find this? I mean, shit, man. I never find that in the dark. I, I've been. I had been looking there for uh, for three hours. I'm so tired. Oh, there are the the Pyrenees. Spain, Andorra, the Prince of Andorra. No, 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 Swissy, it's not back home there. Swissy, no, I told you, it is not. Now, stay where you are, we don't want you here. Yeah, I found it. It was that, eh? Look, nice river, La Riege. So they were nicely situated, you know, uh, next to the strong mountains, uh, uh, Le Montfort, or uh, the other one, like the beer, I forgot the name, 
reminding him them of Switzerland, eh? Look at that. And here it is. There it is. Yeah. So this one is from uh, uh, 1195, so just the end of the 12th century. And the other one I've shown you, it was from, um, I, I, I told you the 11th century, but um, it's the 12th century. The other one, Mont from 1142. So it's always the same era, it's always the same, yeah. And guess who was here, folks? Guess who was here, eh? You know, talking about that snake before, or the, uh, the, um, the worm. Well, the worm was there, look at it, here he was. Kofi Annan, look at it, hey? Almost sounds like Anon, anonymous. Well, he, they are anonymous, hey? Kofi Annan. I mean, Ancien the, 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 uh, the former Secretary General of the United Nations, hey? Switzerland, the United Nations. Hey, you even got a Peace Prize of Nobel, and he's going to see the Templars, right? Ah, uh, yeah, of course. Well, what is this Freemason doing here, you know, if the, free, if the Freemasons didn't come out of the Knights Templars, eh? Yeah, look. And it says, Tolerance is a virtue that makes peace possible. Now, what does that mean? Yeah? It means if we are tolerant and accept everything, then our masters have peace. An olive tree, so biblical. They planted an olive tree on a little pyramid here. Disgusting, isn't it? I mean, how does he know this? I mean, I had to, I, had, I, I needed the whole night to find this in the dark. How does he know it? You know, I was bloody tired. You know, running around in the dark. Of course, I couldn't see it from there. My lamp doesn't go that far. Uh, for three hours, I was exhausted, and I find a place to sleep because I gave it up. Well, how does this bugger know it? Yeah. Because of his pals, yes, because of his pals. And when the lords, you know, the, uh, the, the, the old world order up there in their castles, you know, when they were shagging the women, raping them, the use primi noctis, well, these blokes here, they were just shagging each other because they didn't have anything else. I swear, say, yeah, this one too, they're all shagging each other, yeah. Bloody disgusting. So this is old, eh? It was a thousand years old, this stuff, you know. Very old. You can count the stones here, you know. It's a, you know, as I told you, these Templars chapels and churches, they always have this round thing, you know, attached, attached to it. At the back, here, yeah, it's round here. Probably re reminds them of a male arse or something, eh? A round thing at the back, eh? Ah. Disgusting dudes. That's why we have all these perverts and pedophiles, you know, on, on top of it all. As above, in English, arse above, so below, and so something, your seeds, yeah? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, all these funny signs there up there. Eh? Can't see very much with this LCD screen. I think I got it there. Yeah, all these funny signs there. Yeah, there's another one. It's, oh, it's octagon, isn't it? Yeah, look, to shoot out. Nice church, eh? Welcome. We have our Sunday um, Sunday mess coming up, coming up yeah? We'll shoot you first. Oh, it's hexagonal. Hexagonal stuff. Ah. Ah, a lot more to see here. I'll show it to you. Oh. Probably the guard pissing on this corner here too, a little bit too much, hey? Just deteriorating it. Ah, well, let's have a look. Door. Ah. Tried to get my cam in. Sorry for that. Okay, the whole hand through. So, oh, what is that? Uh, I can't see it. Uh, 
Go like this side. Ah, oh, there it is. Now, what is it? Okay, this is a bit difficult. I'm sorry for the. Um, it's going slow. I'm standing, you know, like uh, in a Swiss prison. Oh, Swiss prison, it's all closed, it's airtight. I'm just in a, a middle aged, a medieval prison here. And I'm uh, looking, I'm, I'm having my arms through the bars here. Uh, there's the other door. So Kofi Annan was here, you know. Well, what did he do here? There's no champagne or something. What is he doing here? You know, it's all stones, and I mean, don't they have something like that in, in, in Africa or something? What is he doing here? Satanic folks that probably did a ritual as well. Look at that. Look at this here. They probably did a ritual. There's nothing around here. No chill, you know, nobody hears the children cry. Okay, I'll just go around the corner as far as I can. You know, around so you can see something. I, I can't see anything here. Yeah, yeah now the other corner here. Come on, have a look. I'll, I'll, I'll watch that later, yeah. Okay. Oh, was that a mess? Oh, bloody hell. Oh, that looks awful, eh? Kofi Annan. Chaya Kofi. It's probably like Ka. That's Ko is for Ka. Ka Fi. That's, that's like a devil, isn't it? It's, it's, what is that? No. It looks really devilish, the thing there. Like a, wow, it's probably sort of a Baphomet or something, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't see anything, folks. I mean, uh, if I'd had the, if I had a car jack, I'll 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 pop it, yeah, put it in between. But um, I mean, I'm a hitchhiker. I don't have any car jack. I get it. Oh, nice and sunny, eh? I'm gonna have me coffee. Yeah, I still got some beer left. I hope it's good. I poured it over in a coke bottle. The rest of it. Uh, after walking there in the mountains, I almost was at the, at the bloody Pyrenees yesterday. Did so much walking to find this. How could bloody Kofi Annan found find it? United Nations is just a scam organization anyway. Oh, look at this! They made it in stone, the checkerboard configuration of the, of the Freemasons. So this is from, what was it again, 11, um, 1143 I think it was. Like uh, almost, what was it, 800 years old? Am I counting right? Yeah, well, 850. Freemasons were already here. In the medieval, medieval times they were here. And this is the red and the white house of Pharaoh. One should be red, another one should be white. Like the colors of the, uh, of the Knights Templars. Here too, they're shooting through it, you know? you know. Oh, I thought Jesus was here, a mess. No, no Jesus, we just got the Baphomet guy. Yeah, yeah look, there's nobody here. You know? and that farm is new, you know, I mean new. What did Kofi, what the hell did Kofi Annan do here, eh? Well, if you guess once. Oh. This is old, eh? Very old. Oh, maybe I can get a good look in here. Oh, yeah. No, not really. Well, I just put the zoomer in. See what it does. Hmm. Nah. Let's try the other ones. What was that? Ah. That's a bit high. Oh, if you see something, I don't. Yeah, it's like shooting back with a video cam. Uh, the most dangerous arm in our days. I mean, Swiss, you are very much afraid of it, eh, Swiss, eh? Eh? You're afraid of my camera. Oh, you can grab a bloody stone out. There's no snake, snake in it. Yeah, I got a Templar stone, eh? I found it. Oh, look, some more candles. Bloody Satanist, you are. You bloody Satanist. Kofi Annan with your Swiss United Nation. All the NGOs are all in Swiziland, eh? Can you see it? 
So I, so I turned the lamp on. I don't know. Look. The candle's there. You see it? Ah, oh, these perverts. And the last one who saw it was a child just before death. So I'm, oh, I'm going to leave it here. Yeah, perfect. Probably some more candles. It's all, you know, behind the stones and all that. Oh, disgusting. So Kofi Annan, he was, you know, lighting his candle here. Doing a sacrifice. And I get a peace, peace Prize, Nobel Prize for it. By the King of Norway. Another bloody pharaoh. Well, that's an interesting hole there. Eh? Disgusting. Hey, Kofi, well, I'm, I'm getting, I'm coming after you, eh? With your olive tree, eh? With your olive tree. You know, with your tolerance. You think this is tolerance? Lighting a candle with children here? With your olive tree? Talking about tolerance, you bloody liars. You know, the French interior minister, Castanet, you know, he said, you know, I've never seen a policeman hurt any, anybody. We all see it in the internet. We all see it. So many young French women, you know, walking around with the all-seeing eye for the rest of their lives, you know, because of being punched out with a Swiss weapon. Brugger and Tomet, it's all Swiss. The cops also have Swiss weapons. Sieg. France, France is being sold out on the stock market. Doesn't even exist anymore. Because they are bloody rabbits anyway. I'm sorry, I'm doing a little bit of ranting here. What's that? Mm. It's all blocked here. Oh. It looks it looked like a child's skull here. Mm. Well, Kofi, Kofi Onan was cold. Oh, there's a little bird there. Kofi Onan said, Oh, I'm having a chill. Yeah. The devil came in, you know, through you know. Where is that little bird? Uh, I'm feeling cold. Can you block the windows? I'm used to Africa, you know, this is too cold here. I can see the Pyrenees in the snow. I, I just can't get it. Oh, well. oh there it is. Oh, it's difficult to zoom in, you know, with this to focus with this hole in it. Uh. I'm used to Africa, it's too cold here. And when the when the Baphomets came in, there was just a wind rush through the temple. This is their temple, their satanic temple, eh? Kofi Annan. Well you're not black, you're not a Negro. Sorry, African brothers, they did the same bloody thing with us. You know, raping us for 2,000 years, the Romans, they killed us all. They did the same thing with us. The whites, the whiteies taking the slaves, they were not whiteies. It was the aristocracy, just like Kofi Annan. He's not an African. He's a pharaoh. And there were the black kings who took the, their own people here, they, in bondage, you know, and put them in cages and in chains and sold them to the slave drivers who were the... The Swiss, it all, all the ships belong to the Swiss. Watch my film, The Swiss Slavery Ships. We're all in the same... We're all in the same ship. Ship, Sergeant, don't see a ship. Yes, son. O okay, Sergeant, I see the ship. What's that? Oh, my God. My goodness, Kofi Annan. You know, never destroy it, folks. There are people telling me, let's destroy it all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't destroy the evidence. I, I want it to be here, in, you know, so our children can see it, you know, in thousand years. Don't ever destroy it. Don't do that. But even have an association. You send them an email. Nobel Prize. Oh, oh, oh I get it. They call it the Nobel Prize. It's given by the king. He's a, he's a Nobel man or a nobleman, you see? That's why they call it the Nobel Prize. It's only for them. The ones who consolidated the pharaohs into power a bit more. You know, like, like pillaging the black people, eh, Mr. Kofi Annan? That's what you did. 
And then you get the Nobel Prize for it. For the Nobel ban. The aristocracy. Eh? Oh, you can hear me getting chilly and windy. That's, you know, a lot of difference in uh, in temperature with this next next to me. I really feel that in the night, eh? The chill came down from the mountains last night. So I'm going to get my, uh, I'm going to have me scoff here, beer from yesterday. And, uh, oh, bloody hell, it's open. Ah, oh, it isn't. Oh, there's, oh, I can open it. Oh, folks. Yo, I'm going to have me scoff and I'm going to open it, eh? I just have to push this thing away. Or is it? Oh, it's like a middle age. No. No, I can't. It's from the inside. I can't. Uh, I, I, I can. I have to burn it down. Very well. The whole door will burn down, eh? I'm going to have me scoff here. You see how it's changing quickly. Before it was sunny, before it was rainy. In the mountains, the weather is changing quickly. It can be sunny next moment, there is snow. You probably won't even see it. I should get myself an external microphone. Then. So, I'm in the very, very south of France, more, more southern than, uh, uh, than Nice. And Kofi Annan probably thought by themselves, well, this is the nearest I get to Africa. Eh? Well, let's plant that bloody thing there, and the tree as well. Uh, Sorry, my African brothers, you know, I talk like this about the whiteys as well, and probably even worse, eh? So, yesterday was a nice black man, he took me hitchhiking from the Carib Caribics, and uh, the Caribics, and uh, from the French part, uh, La Réunion, or whatever they call it. Uh, that's next to Africa. Uh, I forgot the name. Very nice bloke, so no problems with you. Neither with Muslims, neither with Jews. Uh, not with real nationalists who try to open their eyes. I talk to you all, jihadist and all. I talk a bit rough sometimes, so you you just forgive me, eh? All right. Okay. Uh, so in fact, you know, for the red and the white house, this here, the checkerboard configuration, it means that's why they have it. Uh, amongst others that it's like you know we are like pawns on the chessboard it also means you're entering ancient Egypt here there are different laws here you better behave or otherwise you know we'll do you I will do you anyway um, the Jews call them the Erev Rav it's not even there's the very few Jews who know about who know about it most of them they don't even know about it anymore they don't even have any more uh, they have no more roots either you know just like us eh just some guys with their curly hairs on the side. So this is Erev Rave. Ah, I, I learned something there. You know, that's exactly what I'm saying. You know? They came together with the Jews and on the back of the Roman Empire. More on the back of the Roman Empire, actually. Well, later on. Yeah. And, uh, well, okay, shut up now. I'm hungry. All right, we're still okay. Uh, samurai size sauce on some eggs here and uh, you know coming back to uh, what I was talking about before uh, too bad actually I couldn't oh, it's really weird to look at. Um, too bad I couldn't find it otherwise I would have planted I wanted to plant my tent next to the uh, next to the commandery hey good boy not really and uh, but maybe it's better maybe they had a session going on last night who knows and you know people should do more you know coming back to what i just said before i'm really getting bad weather uh, you know people saying you know talking about it, what did jesus what is he famous for if a pop last would probably say he was taking away demons, others say healing the sick. But come on, what, what is he famous for? Eh? He was famous for the sexual sublimation. He was not doing it. Remember what I told you before with the tent? Now instead of saying hundred times a day like uh, Jesus 
Jesus loves me, especially me. He loves me, especially and saying a hundred times a day, you know, it would be better to take your hand out of your pockets and away under the blanket and start some um, sexual sublimination and, you know, fight the enemy. Because that's what bloody Jesus would like you to do, you know, fight, fight Satan and do something instead of saying, Jesus loves me, Jesus loves me, and especially me, he loves me, I'm going to heaven, all that. Well, forget about heaven, don't, don't care about it, do something. You'll see if later or sooner you go to heaven or to the other side. Like in Auschwitz, you, t you turn right, you turn left, you know, it's all the same thing, right? You know, if you do that sexual sublimation, instead of doing some dipshit every, uh, or a dip sauce every, uh, <coughs> every night, you know. You know, if you really come into the uh, realm of the sexual sublimation, I hope you can hear me, it's so windy. Um, you really, you know, instead of doing some dip sauce every night and losing your energy, you become so strong in the end, you know, you start healing people either by information or giving a good advice or really physical healing because uh, the energy you know the um, yeah, the energy you don't throw away you know it gets it, it gets out through your ex body extensions you know like your hands or something you know and um, I look at what Jesus was going was doing you know um, Sexual sublimation and upsetting the um, the ones in power, the Pharisees in those days, like the pharaohs, eh? uh, just as I'm doing here. This is the only way to get in the realm of Christ is to um, and other spiritual masters to um, <clears throat> to do your sexual sublimation. There's no other way. You can't get there. And, by saying hundred times a day, Jesus loves me, loves me, only me, only me, to bring me to paradise, I'm so special. Jesus loves me, bring me there, I don't know what, you know. No, no, no. <clears throat> and, uh, oh, no, I forgot it. Uh, this is the only way to get there, sexual sublimation. Oh yeah, now all of you will probably take your pens out and Oh, wait a minute, I saw a film about uh, Mary Magdalena, you know, or like uh, Da Vinci Code. Well, first of all, Dan Brown, it was all uh, plagia, plagiarism, you know, you stole it all from of these three British guys who don't know a bloody thing as well, you know, either. I uh, forgot their names. <coughs> they don't even know what the Knights Templar is, really. Uh, I happen to be the only one who's uh, who's leaking it out, what they are. And um, so, of course, there was no Mary Magdalena. You know, it's all uh, it's a myth. It never was. Poor bloke. They they nailed him on a cross. And uh, for some of them, for some of you, it was the end of story. For some of you, it continued. But there was there definitely never has been any Mary Magdalena. No way. That was for the other ones, you know, Pharaoh and the Pharisees who, who survived and then finally came to Europe and did the same thing with us as they did to the Jews and to the, to the Arabs and, uh, you know, uh, whoever, and, and the Samaritans and, you know. So, this is what Jesus did, really. He, uh, he practiced sexual sublimation. Yeah on his sandals, with the long hair, just like me. And uh, this is the only way to get in the realm of Christ, there's no other way. And then all the other things, they'll, they'll turn up. Sometimes in the middle of a forest or something, it, it will just turn up. I, I mean, we are the, <coughs> we are the servants of God. He's not our servant. You can't just say pray or say hallelujah or Allah Wakbar five times a day and you know you just do you know click your fingers and say well you're gonna solve all my problems because I'm so important. Jesus loves me, only me, only me. No, we are the servants. 
and I love it. You know, these, these guys, you know, like the Bielski brothers in the film Defiance, they perfectly understood it. Because they didn't listen to the rabbis, the Eret Rav. You know, help yourself and the heavens will assist you. So good here, exactly here. Help yourself and the heavens will assist you. I help myself, I had my tent, I walk around, I help myself. The heavens did assist me. I found it. I found the bloody thing here. But they're uh, checkerboard freeways. So you see the heavens? Help yourself. Nobody else is gonna do it. Help yourself and the heavens will assist you. Just before there was a falcon just hovering over, just like near to me, in front of the fence there, you know. Just here. I couldn't film it, it went too quick. Horus, right? Yeah, and they're still in the Temple of Commander. Look at this change, it's getting cold and freezing. Yeah. And you know, once more about Kofi Annan, well, you know, Kofi Annan, you know it, with your Peace Prize and your Nobel Prize, you know. United Nations is not a murder organization. You know, who told, who told the Bosnians there, you know, we're going to save you in uh, Srebrenica, you know. And then just, just give, give us your weapons, you know. And then they had them all murdered by the other ones. Oh, there it is again. Oh, that's another one. That's in Milan. There it is. But before there was a falcon. Well, anyway, the um, Kofi Annan, he knows it very well that the Templars, there were a bunch of murderers, sodomists, Satanists. Uh, killers, rapists, you know, say, you know, he knew that very well. Just like the French president today is killing the French youth, shooting their eyes out with Swiss weapons. Hey, Kofi Annan, you know, with your peace prize. You know, you know that, that's what the Templars really are. We all know it's a military organization, you just have to watch bloody Hollywood for that, hey? Coming back to Roseanne, Hollywood. <clears throat> you know, some people wrote me that she is a, um, you know, she has a bond with Satan, you know. Well, I tell you, you know, if she would, she would have demons that help her, like, you know, and singing the national anthem or the Super Bowl a lot better, you know, like Beyonce did. And we all know, you know, it was not the same sort of uh, backed up Satanist performance, you know, it was, um, uh, but I loved it anyway. But again, you know, um, I tell you, Rose, you came into my life. We Skype for like one and a half hours. Um, now you don't write me anymore all of a sudden. So you said a few words about, you know, MK Ultra, and um, I have a feeling you're falling back into the old patterns, you know, taking the fruits of your career and, you know, being, you know, honored in Israel where you are. And I tell you, time is short, because these things, I, from what I've heard in the heavens, or you, you know, apparently from what I've heard, we all go there somewhere, you know. Uh, these things like advocating homosexuality, as you did, and feminism, as you did. You know, there's a war against the patriarch, even against your own Jews. That's one of the reasons they killed them all. And you say the opposite, you know, with the feminist things there. From what I've heard, these things, and amongst others, it's bad news up there. Rose, it's bad news. So I tell you, put all your cards on doing something good for humanity. Final. So Freemasons, Templars, they still gather here, eh? Like Mandela. Another Freemason, Knight of Malta, the Knights. They're all Knights here, hey? Okay? Well, let's say good night. So Kofi Annan, he came here to honor the foundation of their order, you know, that's so called. You know, I won't be surprised that, you know, uh, Nelson Mandela, he probably came here as well. I actually have no doubt. And they did some little sacrifices here. 
I just have to block this road here, the path, which I couldn't find. There's nothing here. They can do whatever they please. This is the true SS, the Nazi Templars. S for Satanist and S for Sodomist. Has nothing to do with Schutzstaffel. And here's the bloody sign I missed in the night. Ah, too bad, I would have slept there then, eh? I missed it. Couldn't, I didn't see it. I went straight ahead. <laughs> oh boy. So I'm back to where I came from, passing the night there. Unfortunately, maybe fortunately, not next to that thing there. And I understand the name Matrone. Because, you know, there's the word Patron. That's the male chief, the male boss. And there's all also, in, in, in Italian, Patroni. Eh? Or in uh, Spanish, in Latin. You know? So Matrone. Is the, is the female boss. Eh? So, next to the fact of uh, the, uh, the sodomist Satanist for SS, there's also, as I told you before, there's also Isis. As demotic was only written with consonants, just like Jewish, Hebrew or Arabic. So, the Saint Matrone, the Saint... Um, female boss that's Isis that's where it is a reference to and you know these homos they wage a war against the patriarch the, the Nazi Templars being one of the reasons as I told you they murdered all the Jews because they're very patriarchal the Orthodox dude so Roseanne as she was advocating homosexuality feminism the whole deal she worked for the ones, the masters, who murdered the Jews, the same Jews. So I suppose the Orthodox dudes there in Jerusalem, even stab homos there, uh, they don't like her very much because they understand it. So I really urge you, Roseanne, in case you didn't really know, uh, before it's too late, I'm 66, don't have much more time left. To put all your efforts in the other way around, instead of making nice videos and, you know, being the Hollywood hero in Jerusalem and for all the TV stations, which is all fair anyway, I'll, uh, I'll recommend you to stop that and to put all your efforts in the other side, which you haven't done yet before. Salut! And, uh... So, but it's interesting though, you know, so Roseanne, you've been working for the Erev Rav. That's why you've been working for, these ones here. Um, that's why I say she wants more and more of these homos dudes, because they don't like real men. They put real men who open up their mouths like me, they put them in prison. Oh. The Nazis, the Nazi Templars, a bunch of uh, sexual perverts. Raping children, that's what Nazis did. And it's, it's a war against the patriarch. Yeah.